Oops. Oops. Hello and a very good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen, or good morning if you're on the other side of the world. Welcome to Andre Woodvine Live, episode number 21, broadcast to you from the beautiful island of Barbados, beautiful downtown, Wildy to be exact. Uh, today I am back in Bridgetown again, this time I'm on the other side of the, uh, gosh I hope it's the Chamberlain Bridge, I'm not very good with uh, geography. But uh, behind me there are the Houses of Parliament, second oldest parliament in the world, my eldest son tells me, and uh, standing in front of the waters of the Kermenage virtually thanks to a green screen. We're going to get the night rolling with, let's see, Sugar by Stanley ah, Tarantine, which requires at least a tenor saxophone. Get this behind me. Get the behind me cord. All right. Tarantine trying to move in. Get him.
my goodness, my goodness. I guess it helps if you're watching the track and see where the tune is going to end. Oh, my goodness. Every night is different. Every night is exciting. Uh, so in case you're wondering, the reason that I'm doing this is, uh, I guess, to, to try and uh, stay in music in the, in the era of COVID when uh, uh, live performances are something of a rarity. Um, and also to, uh, to help folks relax if you need to relax on a Wednesday evening. Hopefully this music is going to help you relax one way or the other and entertain you one way or the other, hopefully. Hopefully say the right things, push the right buttons and at the right time, play the right things at the right time. Play some music that maybe you don't hear every day, which is uh, hopefully kind of neat. And, uh, oh, right, yes. And also hopefully solicit some contributions um, from viewers like you. I should say, and I'm going to get to it early this week, I should say that this program is made possible from, from the f possible by the kind contributions of viewers like you and also a cultural industries development grant from the National Cultural Foundation who are kind enough to give me a grant to upgrade my camera, to upgrade my lighting. So now you can see me warts and all. So there's an address down there at the bottom of the screen if you do feel so inclined. All contributions gratefully received big and small. All right. So there you go. Oh, my goodness. Uh, 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 uh. I'm going to play a, uh, a tune now that is quite difficult. At least it's difficult for me. It's uh, a Pat Metheny tune. Um, for those of you who don't know who Pat Metheny is, he is an incredible um, American jazz guitarist um, who is something of a, of a legend by now. And uh, he's an incredible composer, an incredible player. And he's written some of my favorite jazz compositions over the year. This one is actually written in 3-4 time, in waltz time, for, the, for those of you who want the technical explanation. But I'm going to do it in 4-4 four four in, uh, in a bit of a different style. So I don't think Pat would mind. Um, yeah. So here we go. I'm going to try this on alto. Push the right button. Good. Can I get all the right buttons? Go.
I got to tell you, I was a little, I was a little worried about that tomb because embedded in the middle of that tomb are a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of Coltrane changes that I, I think I really faked my way through them just now. Ah, <laughs> uh, where are we at? Where is my live stream? That's not my live stream. Uh, let me see if I can find it on Facebook. This is the only way I can see the comments because the chat bot. Doesn't really work that well on Caster. At least I can't get it to work that well. Um, write a comment. Okay. Sorry, I'm looking around. Um, okay. Ah, there we go. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Turn the volume off. Okay. Good evening. Hi, Celia Collimore. Good night to you. Thank you for joining us, Winston Holford. Good night. I hope you are well. Watching on YouTube, love the feel and look of the video. Well, good, thank you. I'm glad that you are enjoying it so far. Um, hopefully, I won't go too far backwards and, and fall in. You know? Boom. <laughs> or splash, I should say. Splash. Yeah, that should be interesting. All right. Um, okay, so that was question and answer by Pat Matheny. Um, very tricky tune, but a very beautiful tune. And um, there are examples of it on YouTube too, also as well. Um, let me see. So there was a, hmm, I'm going to do something on flute here. Um, I actually had a song uh, prepared and I'm, I'm in two minds as to whether to do it or not because I think it's really corny. So I'll put this out there. If anybody would like to hear what Jiminy Cricket would sound like if he was Jamaican, let me know. I have, I have the answer in here. Um, if you like Pinocchio, if you like Disney, <laughs> and you like it, you'd like to hear what Pinocchio might have sounded like or Jiminy Cricket might have sounded like if he was Jamaican, let me know. But in the meantime, I'm going to do floating because hopefully that's not what I'm going to do with the careenage behind me.
be floating. Ah, yeah, there's some notes in there. Definitely floating. Ooh. All right, cool. I hope you enjoyed floating. Floating is um, is a song I recorded many years ago. It's actually available um, on iTunes uh, as a part of the album Citronella. Coincidentally, let me have a look here at. Hey, thank you, Celia. I'm glad you like floating. It's one of my favorite efforts, too. Uh, 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 uh. Joining, a, joining a bit late. <laughs> That's okay. If you're joining a bit late, I post all the episodes or I allow them to be posted and such on, uh, on the internet, so you can always, you can always rewind at some point. Um, as long as I don't join late, we're good. Ah, <sighs> yeah, for sure. Um, all right, so I'm going to do a, a standard here now, and this is a this is a standard that most musicians most musicians when they play this tune, they kind of or or when somebody asks them to play this tune, particularly jazz musicians, they're like, oh gosh, no, not this tune, because it gets played an awful lot. But um, I, a couple of weeks ago. Um, during uh, uh, I, I don't know, a period of acute boredom, I was um, checking out uh, YouTube, and there's a, uh, a, a, a gentleman called Adam Neely. Adam Neely, A D A M N E E L Y or E Y, and Adam has a, a wonderful YouTube channel where he uh, explains music, takes apart music, uh, talks about music. And he puts together these fantastic videos that are really, really enlightening. And he did one on the go from Ipanema, which is the song that I'm going to play. And it's a song that all the jazz musicians go, oh, God, no, not the go from Ipanema. And I learned so much more about that song from watching his, um, from watching his video. I didn't realize that there was so much going on in the tune harmonically and then also historically. And, and what Jobim's original intention was for it harmonically and how when it came to the United States and, um, and into the, the regular repertoire, it got a little twisted around. So, anywho, all of that aside, I'm going to do the girl from Epan, Epan, Epanema, as they say in Brazil. And I do hope you enjoy it. And I do hope if you're a jazz musician, you'll still enjoy it, even though you know? Right. Here we go.
的时候。Maybe I should try and check this out on、uh, on YouTube and Truth. Maybe I should try and check this out on YouTube and Truth because my Facebook keeps on sticking. Obviously, it needs WD forty or something. Thank you very much. Glad you enjoyed it.、Um, the girl from Ipanema. All right. So last week I played. A new tune, a new original tune, a tune that I wrote last week. Actually, it's still very fresh. It's still warm.、Um, still tr- struggling to take its first steps.、Um, let me try playing it on tenor. I haven't played it on tenor before, even in practice. So let's see what happens. Might not go very well. Maybe I should stick to alto. All right, I'll stick to alto. Hmm. All right, I'll stick to alto. I'll practice it on tenor. That sounds like a a good strategy. Okay, so the the name of the song is Soca Blues, which is a really sad title for a song. I mean, you know, when you compare that to Pat Metheny's title of his song, "So May It Secretly Begin," Soca Blues sounds very pedestrian. So, hopefully, well, the tune won't be pedestrian. There we go. Not good enough. I'm gonna do a VSOP. There we go. This is what happens when you're playing too many instruments at once. Can't hear a thing.
Well, <coughs> we ended right. <laughs> okay, cool. There you go, Soca Blues. Well, not bad. 21 shows and only two false starts. I think that was a second. <sighs> I think what I need to do after that is play a ballad. <laughs> Soca Blues, ladies and gentlemen. Soca Blues. Need to find a better title for the poor song. But um, it, it, it's a lot of fun to play, which is good. I see... Celia's giving me emojis here. <laughs> it has some attitude. Yes, it does. All right, I'm glad you like it. Hey, Sam. Thanks for joining us. Hope everybody is well. Time for a ballad. Actually, I need to take this off, too. It's too shiny. Thank you. 
Oh. There you go, my foolish heart. My foolish heart. <laughs> I suppose there are other parts of your body that you could put into that title and it would uh, perhaps make sense. All right, so if you have recently joined us or if, um, or if we are recently cr crossing paths, um, if you're on YouTube, I'm obliged under the international YouTube uh, uh, protocol to uh, say, please hit subscribe. Apparently, that's what everybody on YouTube does. They say, please hit subscribe and, um, and like and everything else and uh, leave a comment. And um, I guess if you're on Facebook, you can let your friends know, oh my goodness, there's a saxophonist in Barbados who has four shirts and he keeps alternating them when he performs. And we really wish he'd buy another shirt. <laughs> so if, um, if you'd like to make a contribution towards Andre Woodvine's shirt fund, we have uh, paypal.me backslash Andre Woodvine. Um, either way, I'll try and get a new shirt. Although I really do like this one. This is my favorite shirt, as you've probably been able to tell. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, time to go to the beach. Uh, there we go. There's the beach. We were at this beach last week. I know Celia Colomore. I need to get up to your beach and I need to film up in your beach, you know? And, uh, yeah. So, uh, let's see. We've done a ballad. We've done bossa novas. We've done swings. Um, let's see. We've done six, eight floating. And we're at the beach. Let's see, what should we do? Uh, 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 uh. I had something lined up here. What was it? Oh yeah, Carnival for Liam, of course.
tonight. This is Roger Federer. He'd be down two sets right now. Ah, there we go. <sighs> it's been a, it's been a, a, it was a fairly crazy busy week last week. Um, thanks to the, uh, the grant from the NCF for the, the camera that I have, um, I decided that because I have a, this fancy camera, which is basically a computer with a lens, I better learn how to use it. So I, I took a, uh, an online, uh, free online course that was uh, actually also sponsored by the NCF called Visual Voices, and it was a fantastic course. Um, uh, the instructors are the, are the top video and photography uh, folks in Barbados, um, Ronnie Carrington, Stuart Hall, um, some fantastic teachers. And, um, and we had to do a final project, which was a two minute film so um, hopefully I'll be able to share with you my, my first two-minute film uh, somewhere on the internet, either on Facebook or, uh, or, um, or, or on YouTube. And I, I got to write a, a, a bit of film score for my own, for my own film. I, I couldn't exactly fire myself there. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's called Badminton Is, and it's, it's about my, uh, my badminton club. So. Whilst we're here at the beach in Barbados, if there's anybody right now who is watching this video who is not in Barbados, please, at your earliest opportunity, make your way to Barbados because we have some really cool stuff going on here. It's been a, actually a very momentous week for Barbados. Um, we, our government announced uh, that we are going to become a republic. We are going to um, finally uh, have a change from... Uh, although we're an independent country, have a, a change from the British Queen, Queen Elizabeth being the, uh, the uh, oh, not the head of state, the, what, what is it, the, uh, the, the constitutional, constitutional head of state, I guess. So uh, we're, we're finally going to become a republic, which in my humble opinion, I think is a, is a good thing for the country. And um, again, it's my humble opinion. Um, so it's, it's been mooted for a long time, as they say, mooted. So it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come to pass. And we actually made BBC News. Little Barbados made BBC News in a big way, um, which is kind of cool. Um, there we go. So let's see. Celia Collimore. All right. Thanks. Glad you liked it. Rosemary Lane, thank you for joining us. Sam, glad you liked it. Cool. Um, let's see. Where are we at here? Uh, did the girl from the banana request? Sugar, my foolish heart. Um, uh, 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 uh. Gonna do, uh, gonna do the departure. This is a tune that really needs words put to it. Sweet. Mm.
The departure. Yeah, the departure, the departure, the departure. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, about halfway through that song, I, I read Celia's comment, yup, head north. It made me laugh. It's like, yeah, that's what I need to do. I need to head north instead of go west, young man. Head north, young man, so to speak. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to try and get wild and crazy here for one last time for the evening. It's been, a, it's been a strange evening musically. There's been all kinds of strange notes coming out of my saxophone. Um, I don't know why, but, you know, one of those strange, strange, strange things. Well, wh wh where is that song? Uh, 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 uh. Excuse me one second when I find this song. That's not it, that's not it, that's not it. Why can't I find this song? Oh, there it is. Okay, good. So we do that, and we do that, and we do that. And for this song, we're going to leave the beach for a moment. <laughs> we're going to go to the land of gears and cogs. And... I am going to do the song. <laughs> One of our beats is missing. One of our beats is missing. Very appropriate for tonight. I have a feeling one of my beats is missing. I do hope you enjoy. Here we go. One of my beats is missing. It is. <sighs>
band of cogs. <laughs> the land of cogs. All right. The land of cogs. Guess what that is? The land of cogs. I don't know. What would you call that? Like I'm in a giant watch or something. Yep, head north. Yes, that's what I need to do. Head north. All right. Well, we started off in Bridgetown. We're back in Bridgetown. Um, let's see, uh, a few thank yous. Uh, thank you for the, to the National Cultural Foundation for the uh, Cultural Industries Development Grant, allowing me to upgrade my equipment. Um, thanks so much to all of you for coming and joining and listening and for your comments. I really, really do appreciate them. Um, there is uh, something still very strange, even after 21 episodes, there's something still very strange about standing in a room in front of a camera and playing as opposed to being in front of a natural living, breathing audience. Well, yeah, you are living, but you know what I mean. A physical presence, as it were. So I really appreciate your comments, and I appreciate you partaking of this, what I hope is entertaining and relaxing music. And uh, if you did enjoy it, please spread the word. And um, I look forward to seeing as many of you as I can again next Wednesday evening um, for episode number 22. Wow. So let me see. Wait, let me find it. Hold on. Where? Oh, there it is down there. Turn that off. So until next time, stay safe. Have a great week. Um, listen to lots of great and wonderful music. Come and visit Barbados if you can. Come and stay and work here for a year with the, uh, with the Barbados Stamp program. Um, and, uh, and I'll see you all again next week. Thank you and good night. <laughs>